Go. Hey everybody, it's Sarah Burchette, PAC here, and I'm here with Corey. She's gonna be my lovely model today. We're gonna to be talking about some of the muscles on the face and looking at how that anatomy um, affects what wrinkles and lines you get here and there. Then we're gonna be doing a Botox and Dysport treatment with Corey. So when we're looking at the face, there's a few main muscles that we commonly treat with either Botox or Dysport. The first one is the muscle that gives us the 11s, and that's the mad, angry, scowly face that people really hate. Um, so, Corey, if you can make a mad face, yeah. So we can see right here the muscle pulling from there and there. That's called your corrugator, and I'm just going to sort of outline like where we see that on her, right through there. And then there's a little guy in here that's your procerus muscle. The function of that muscle is to pull your brows together and down. So we really, and a lot of people, we want to release that so that the inner brow can elevate just slightly and you won't get those resting 11 lines right there that we commonly see. Now the next muscle is the frontalis and that's the one that raises our eyebrows. So Corey, raise up for me. So see the frontalis is going to cause those horizontal lines that run back and forth across your forehead. Um, some people have more activity in this muscle than others. Some people pull kind of just right in the center. Some people pull all the way across. So when you're evaluating a patient, you want to look and see where they have lines, how far laterally out here that those lines extend. Because if they come all the way across the forehead, all the way out to here, you want to make sure that you're spreading out your Botox far enough um, that they're going to get a treatment in that area where they still have a line. So Corey, raise up for me. Good. So the frontalis is a big, broad sheet of a muscle, and it typically is, is going to kind of divide right about at that point, and then it goes up like this, and kind of up like this. And raise again. Sorry, I keep having to do that. Corey has a tendency to get this one little line right here. So we're going to try to make sure we treat pretty close in there to knock that puppy out. Um, and we're also going to treat her a little bit farther laterally because she does get some movement over here as well. So we're going to spread that out. And then the last muscle we're going to talk about is the orbicularis oculi, which is a round muscle that goes around each eye. And if you smile really, really big, can you kind of squint your eyes? You can kind of see right here how that muscle comes out, and that muscle will pull the eye together and cause the crow's feet. Um, now she's still got a little bit of effect lasting from her previous treatment, so she doesn't have a ton of movement there. We definitely don't need to give her a lot of Dysport or Botox in that area, um, but we're just going to do a few little, few little spots, and that orbicularis kind of comes right around through there, and it will come over her eye like this, and it goes all the way around, all the way around your eye. Um, and we can also treat it, sometimes people get bunny lines, which is a combination of the procerus activity can be nasalis, which is a muscle that goes across your nose, and even a little bit of orbicularis. So sometimes you need to put a dab of Botox around there to um, soften up if people are getting lines across their nose right here really low. So, but we're going to focus on the most common areas today. All right, so we're going to use Botox in Corey's forehead today and a little bit of Dysport around her eyes. Dysport tends to diffuse just a little bit more than Botox and we um, have found that it gives you a nice soft look in the crow's feet so we kind of like to use it there. The other advantage for the patient is that if you use both Botox and Dysport um, during one treatment, you can get rebate rewards from each company, which is kind of nice because then it saves you a little bit of extra money at each treatment. All right. 
So we're going to have Corey lean her head back against something stable so she doesn't move. And we're just going to start with her corrugator right in here. I'm going to have her frown one more time for me so we can see. Good. And relax. Good. And I just like to kind of pinch that muscle up. Little baby stick. Down one more time. Good, relax. And going right up into the tail of that muscle. And you can see we use a very, very tiny needle here, which um, maximizes patient comfort. And it also helps minimize bruising and bleeding. So she's got just a few little pinpoints, but nothing major. All right, now raise your eyebrows up for me again. Let me see that, yeah. Okay, and relax. Good. So now we're just going to go in here and treat her front callus a little bit. I'm going to use just little small doses, a couple units in each spot, and just spread them out really well here. I'm keeping this nice and high in her forehead because we want to do everything that we can to make sure we don't cause her eyebrows to drop. If you inject either too much into the frontalis, or you just inject kind of in the wrong spots, then you can end up dropping her brow. And we don't want that. I've got just a smidge left, and I'm going to put it right here where I think your muscle divides. we're going to do right around her crow's feet and again she just needs a tiny little dose because she doesn't have very much movement in that area so I want you to kind of wink at me wink this eye down good that lets me really feel where that muscle is coming around her eye so I just kind of pinch it up doing a little bit on the side there also um, really releases releases that muscle so that your eyebrow can lift just a little bit. And that's all we're going to do for her. Someone who has really, really set in um, very dramatic crow's feet, we would spread that discord out a little bit more and go all the way around the eye. Okay, and then wink at me on this side. Very good. And that's all there is to it.